enter your weight. So you can click this link here, and it brings up the Excel diet sheet. Now the first thing, since this is the first time I'm using it here, you have to enter the date. Um, you can actually just press Control semicolon, and it puts in today's date, or you can type it in. It has to be in the format that your system understands. I press the Enter key, and um, all these dates are adjusted. Then you're going to enter your starting weight, so you should weigh yourself, and then enter it, and I'll just make believe it was 180. And um, this is going to be the goal weight. Now these goal weights are already calculated, and what it does is it drops it by um, 0.14 one four hundredth of a pound or one seventh of a pound each day. So each day you're going to try to lose about 500 calories, um, and that's about uh, 0 0.14 hundred, 14 hundredth of a pound. And um, so when you enter this, the f you can go to the dashboard. And you see here's the chart here. Now the only thing you see on the chart is on the left side here, you see the weights and this red line. And the red line is your goal line. That's what's going to happen if you lose a pound a week. So that's the that's where you want to to be. You want to also be below the line, um, means you're doing well. And if you're above the line, you're not doing well. You're behind your goal. So you want to adjust your food intake and your exercising to get yourself. Uh, below this uh, red line. You also don't want to get too too far below the red line because if you do you'll be losing weight too quickly. So you want to stay as close as possible to this goal. So I'm going to go back to the weight data. I can click here and um, let's enter a few let's enter a few periods. Let's say it was 179.56 one now if you notice this 179.6 is lower than the 179.86 by 0.26 pounds, and um, what that means is that you are ahead of your goal, so it's in green. And then if I enter just a few more, five, 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 one, seventy nine. Okay, so I've just entered. Now you're going to do this each day. You want to weigh yourself each day on this at the same time. You also want to have an accurate scale. Um, accuracy usually to 0.2 is typical of a good digital scale these days and you can click some links to get a scale at Amazon if you need one. Um, so let, let's go back to the uh, it says dashboard that's where the chart is so I click this and then you can see we're starting a little trend line and here's our blue and you can see we are this line new line here you're seeing is the actual trend I'm on and you can see I'm not really making the goal I'm above it and also the blue line here is above the goal so it means I have to eat less to kind of lose weight and get back below. So I can go back to the data sheet the next day. And you just keep doing this every day and you modify your eating based on where your weight is. And we'll go look at the chart again. And you can see it's a little bit better. Here you can see I'm I'm actually my black is my trend, and that means I'm I'm doing well because not only am I below the line here, but I'm below losing a pound a pound a week. Now once you're below the line, you have a few things you can do. You can certainly eat more, uh, so you want to stay as close as possible to the red line to not lose weight too quickly. And then so really all you have to do is keep entering this. Now you can also enter some notes. Um, I like to enter what I ate, so I enter, so I might say BF for breakfast, one Atkins bar, one for lunch, and walked three miles. And you can keep doing no exercise, I write sometimes. Now this is this field here is optional and it tells you did you exercise enter a one if you exercise and a zero if you didn't and the reason I put this together is I had wanted to see the pattern of when I exercise and how well I lost weight so you can just enter the days you exercised a zero or a one you should do it every day and uh, 
we'll go back to the chart and then you can see you get these little gray bars and it'll show you a gray bar. Um, on some versions of Excel, a gray bar will actually hide the chart. So you, in those cases, just leave it blank and you won't see it. And you can see, again, the black line is good. It's good to get the black line below the red line, which is the red line is my goal weight. And this is the trend. And you can always see how well you're doing here. Red means you're above and green means you're below. Um, so the important thing is you just have to enter weight and modify your eating habits. Anyway, hope uh, this was helpful. If you have questions, certainly tweet me at Alecberg on Twitter. And the final thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to save. Um, there are a number of ways to save in Excel. Probably best to have a little disk in your access toolbar, quick access toolbar, or you can go to File. And different versions of Excel are different in this one. I press Save. And that basically saves the sheet, and I can close it after that. I can press the close here or file close. And that's it.